We all agree that this is a broth, so liquidy and full of flavors, but how do I thicken it to become a sauce? Flour, nah. gelatin, Blech. the answer is already there. No! Action! Hello everyone and welcome back to Berto's Kitchen. Today I have a fantastic recipe to show you directly from my kitchen school thesis. Yes, you heard right. I attended a kitchen school and was not born a chef. What did you expect? But I guess you guys are here to see how I managed to cook the lamb. Ain't that right? I have a couple of tricks to show you, starting from its stock, which is something you should always have in your freezer. Make it beef, veal, lamb or pigeon stock. That's an easy trick to change everything in your cooking game. <laughs> Those are the bases that you can use for multiple things. Make them once, store them sous vide in the freezer and forget about them for at least a month. Laziness. Is this Easter, with this lamb and the pastera recipe I gave you in the previous video, I'm sure you cannot fail. Click on the button on the top right corner to see my pastera. You can't miss out my secret recipe. Then, there's the Italian-style spinach and the hazelnut puree. You really want to see how to make those? Don't skip this video and let's go to make some action. Let's take care about the stock first. Preheat the oven at 220 degrees Celsius and place baking paper on a tray wide enough. Spread the bones on it and be generous with a good quantity of flavorless oil. Put them in the oven and bake for 20 minutes. After that, take the tray out, flip all the bones and cook for another 20 minutes. While waiting for them to sear, cut all the vegetables and throw them in a large pot with a thread of olive oil. Turn the burner on low heat and cook for 10 to 12 minutes. When bones are ready, throw everything in the pot and deglaze with a glass of red wine. After that, cover everything with ice and water. This preparation is a slow extraction. We want every bit of flavor from those bones. I love to tie up the bouquet garni here, just because it's so easy to remove it when you're done. Grab a cooking friendly string and make a knot just like this one. Wrap it all around and you're good to go. Throw it in and secure it to the handle. This way it's not going to sink and it will be easily removable. Now simmer for 6 hours. Yes, 6 hours. This is a lot of time but once you do this you can store everything in a freezer for many preparations. Filter everything down and reduce it until you get the right consistency. The secret here is hidden in the bones collagen and proteins which will thicken the sauce naturally without adding any flour or gelatin. The result is a Michelin star level nectar that will blow your mind to bits. Less talking and more cooking. Peel the potatoes and literally throw them in a pot. Snap your fingers to cut them and cover with water. Boil for 20 minutes, checking the potatoes with the tip of a knife. If it easily cuts through, they're ready. To roast the hazelnuts, just put them in a pan and heat them up until they're slightly colored and hot to the touch. Crush them a little bit with the back of a spoon and put them on the side. Drain the potatoes and put the pot back on the stove. Just a couple of minutes to evaporate all the excess water. Pour in the hot milk, a touch of butter and whisk until you get the right consistency. Then create a nutmeg and adjust with a good pinch of salt. Pour in half of the hazelnuts and your puree is now ready. Easily roast the pine nuts just like before and on the side regenerate the raisins with some hot water for 10 minutes. Now we're ready to start with the spinach. Grab a pan and get golden and minced clove of garlic with a thread of extra virgin olive oil. Throw the pine nuts in followed by the spinach. Cook for 3 to 4 minutes and when they're ready add the drained raisins. We're almost to the finish line. Throw a touch of butter in a pan and a sprinkle of salt. Sear the lamb on one side and turn it over. Now here's the funniest part of it all. Tilt the pan towards you and let all the butter drain on the lowest part. Then, with the help of a spoon, drape the lamb. This not only cooks the meat evenly, but it also brings the butter temperature down, preventing it from burning. It was a long and exciting journey, but we're finally here. 
it's time to plate it. No! No! And that's my lamb for this Easter, Italian style. Let's taste this delicacy. No, bene, ci piaceva. Fantastic! The lamb is wonderful, but trust me, it's all about the stock. Do it right and the rest will come along. It's so satisfying to eat something... Non è tweet. Oh, it's so satisfying to have something crunchy while eating puree. Hazelnuts are doing perfectly its job. Oh, and the spinach! The funniest part are the raisins. Those are really kicking up the experience with their sweetness. But I have to say something. If you have to kiss someone, make sure they don't hate garlic because it is there and you can spot it. Will you be making this recipe this Easter? If that's the case, let me know in the comments field how it worked out for you. Every Thursday, there's a new recipe waiting for you here at Berta's Kitchen. Don't miss them out subscribing to the channel. Smash that like button, folks. See you next week.